Obviously a disappointing result, we just touched on that. But what's the reaction been like um, there in Brisbane post-game and this morning? Yeah, look, I was uh, I was outside the stadium after doing a bit of com work stuff and I could see in the atmosphere there was a bit of heartache around. Right now I'm feeling for the girls, I'm feeling for the Matildas. The nation's sad. Obviously, we're, everyone's doing the math. It's a must win in the next match. Yeah, and, and you were there on the pitch, so you could see after all the players. What was the body language like after that game? And what was Sam, Sam doing? Sam Kerr, you know, she's one of the leaders on the pitch, or not on the pitch, I should say. What was she doing after? Was she picking people up, or did it just look quite depressing? Yeah, it, it was quite depressing, to be honest. I know that feeling all too well. Uh, that, that looked like a lot of heartache that we experienced at the Olympics. Um, everyone's standing on their own, isolated, upset, uh, disheveled, just feeling completely defeated, knowing what's ahead of them. There's a mountain to climb. Um, to be honest, my eyes actually weren't on Sam Kerr for the first time ever, so I apologise. I actually don't know. But if I, if I know Sam well, she was probably picking people up and, and getting, getting the girls back together. So, yeah, there was a lot of heartache out there. It, it was really, really sad to see because I know that feeling all too well and I, I felt the heartache for them. Yeah, and no doubt we all felt it uh, watching on from home. I think a lot has been made of, of selection, of substitutions. And when you look to the bench, you've got Kai Simon, you know, wearing her trainers and in a tracksuit as well. It doesn't help. For you personally, watching on as a striker who we've seen you bag so many goals, does, does, how does it feel to just like, when you're, when you're part of a team, you know you can influence the result, but it must just kill knowing you're someone that can score goals for fun and you've got to sit in that stadium, you've got to watch and you just can't help your teammates. What were the emotions for you like in that stadium? Mm. Yeah, I, I can honestly say I've never experienced emotions like that. I've had good memories uh, scoring a great goal against uh, Korea there at that very pitch. Brisbane's my hometown. I'm usually a striker that's on the bench itching, raring to go, you know, getting to, you know, begging Tony to put me on uh, internally. So I can't imagine how hard it was for those game changers sitting there dying to get on. Also, I've never thought I'd seen myself pitch size uh, in, in a blazer. Uh, with a microphone with the girls warming up behind me. Mm. I'm usually in that lineup warming up uh, behind the media. So it was a very different circumstance for me, but I'm just trying to show my support for the girls um, and do what I can behind the mic. But yeah, it, it was it was it was hard to watch and uh, yeah, it, it was a sad moment for me, but it's it's not about me. It was about the girls getting the three points um, and now we've got to look to the next match. Yeah, and we're all with you and uh, appreciate the work that you're doing here as well. On a bit of a lighter note, how do you feel about your former teammate Amy Harrison wearing a uh, oh. deep green dress today <laughs> to celebrate the Super Falcon? Um. You're so I'm annoying. Sorry. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what, Harrow? Uh, yeah, you're lucky I'm not there, let me tell you that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was on purpose or there's a dig there, but uh, Harrow, you're, you're in deep trouble. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.